Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into the Smith Center for today's matchup against your Mount St. Joe Gales and Concordia Prep. Before we get the game started, our Alex Quas took to uh, took to Coach Clatchy. Had about a five-minute interview with him. Let's uh, we're going to show that before we get the game started. So enjoy our interview with Coach Clatchy. Today I'm joined by Coach Pat Clatchy. Coach, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, no problem. Man. I'll start off with one of the big questions this year is your front court losing Amani Hansberry to Illinois. Now, who do you think can fill into that? You've got Brandon Holmes starting at the center at the five and Tyon Farrell starting at the four. Uh, yeah, I don't really know if you can replace uh, Amani Hansberry and what he did and the impact that he had. Um, just a great player on both sides of the ball, dominant at times and always seemed to step up in the big moment when we needed it the most. Um, so I don't really know if you're gonna replace him, but with that being said, there are opportunities for other guys to kind of step in. You know, Tyon uh, had a really good season last year. I think he's improved his game a lot. Um, Brandon Holmes, you know, now it's time for him to step up and see what he can do. Um, I think Brandon's improved. Um, we have another 6'8 freshman, Kenneth Anthony, who we think can certainly contribute, um, you know, on the court as a freshman. And then I, I think the other thing is a guy like Joe Green, who's uh, sort of a jack of all trades. You know, we might have to sometimes play with a smaller lineup, and, you know, with him out there. And uh, I think Joe's a, you know, very capable player of helping in, you know, many areas. Yeah, it was really big for you guys defensively last year. Uh, speaking of Tyon, can you just talk about his URI commitment to Rhode Island this past summer, and then what do you think he's ready to take a leadership role on the team? Uh, you know, first of all, just another guy who's come through the program, who's worked hard, and you know now has an opportunity to play at the collegiate level and the Division One level. Me personally, I, I think Tyon was under recruited. You know, uh, I think he spent a lot of time in the off season expanding his game, being a more consistent shooter, um, more showing, displaying more ability off the dribble. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, he's a guy that, you know, uh, that we're going to have to count on, you know, in order to have a successful season. Yeah, that was something I noticed in the summer games. You could see he was really expanding his game with a three-point line, taking a lot of jump shots. Yeah. And then later in October when you guys played in the challenge at Loyola, He's doing a lot better attacking to the basket again, which he yeah, did he last spent, season. He spent a lot of time in the gym, and, and it, so far it's it shown. And you guys are have, have Jordan Brathwaite transferring from Good Counsel this year. Could you just speak on the impact of him coming into your uh, backcourt? You know, very talented athlete, you know, and, and a very uh, versatile basketball player who, uh, you know, played in the WCAC and, you know, was successful. You know, he, he proved that he could play at that level. You know, for us, I mean, he's a, a, a proven scorer, shooter, um, good on the ball defender, can rebound. You know, very, very, in my opinion, a very uh, valuable addition. Yeah, and then also to your backcourt, Elijah Hall started for you guys this past fall. You kind of came off the bench last year, dealt with some injuries this summer. Now he's entering yeah. his starting role. Could you speak on the impact of him? Yeah, I mean, well, right now he's actually hurt <laughs> again. Um, but, you know, I think Elijah, um, first of all, he's he thinks and plays like a point guard. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a very good passer. He's a very good shooter. Um, you know, he, he has really good vision. Um, I think he's going to be around some weapons um, that should make his job easy. His job should be get the ball up the court, you know, you know, passing it or dribbling it, find the open man, make open shots, and you know, just compete defensively. Yeah, and you guys look to run in transition a lot. You had Amadi running the break. You had your guards running off of rebounds. So you think looking to do more of the same this year? Yeah, I mean, we really look for guys that we call grab and go guys that can grab a defensive rebound and go mm. where we don't have to outlet the ball. Um, right now, Brandon and Kenneth are not in that category. Um, Brandon is actually starting to show some signs of being able to take a dribble or two and snap it ahead. Um, but, you know, any of the guys that, that get a defensive rebound can trigger the break, you know, with those first two quick 
productive dribbles looking down the floor. Yeah, that's a big part of your guys' success these yeah, past few sure. years. And then just the expectations, you guys have some younger players coming up from JV and Brighton, BJ and Torian. What are your ex expectations for them and some of the freshmen coming in? Um, I think all of those guys are very talented underclassmen players. Um, you know, uh, Torian, Brighton, BJ, all, you know, all three sophomores. Um, you know, good players. Um, I think it'll be a transition, a little bit of an adjustment period, you know, for the varsity. Um, some of it physical. Um, and then the two freshmen, I think, are very, very talented players. Um, you know, Kenneth is six foot eight. Um, I think his defense right now is, is ahead of his offense, but I think he's capable of contributing offensively. And, uh, you know, I think uh, Zukim is a tremendous athlete that brings just a lot of versatility and toughness to the table. Yeah, and with just gaining their experience, do you think those summer and fall games help them out and help out the rest of your team? Yeah, I think it does. Just, you know, you get out there and you're competing, uh, same as the preseason practices and things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just in those games, those fall games, especially at Loyola, transition defense seemed to be a sort of issue for you guys. Are you guys focusing on that in practice? Oh, yeah, we work on it every day. But uh, until a team, you know, kind of goes on an 8-0 run and you can say, well, that's what I've been talking about, yeah. it doesn't seem to get their attention. But, you know, even, uh, you know, guys like, you know, Ryan Truitt, um, you know, he started a lot of games last year. He brings a lot of experience uh, to the table as well. So we, we feel like our perimeter depth um, is definitely one of our strengths. Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back in. Quinn Wells alongside shortly Buck Rogers. Brandon Holmes for the tip for Mount St. Joe. And here we go. DJ Wilson on the ball, and here's Buck Rogers. It's a layup to take a 2 nothing lead to Gales. No, uh... All right. Sorry. Free throws, and that ties the game up at two to an MSJ and Concordia Prep. Concordia Prep got a layup on their first possession. Pretty uh, man attacking the basket. And it's out of bounds, but it'll be Concordia prep ball. Shot clock hit zero, but he got it off before then. It's a huge game here. I'm going to say 1 0. They pass it. And the shot clock hits zero. So that'll be a shot clock violation on Concordia Prep. And MSJ will get the ball with 7.02 left. Break away for three. Off the rim, no. He gets his own rebound. Passes it to Truett for three. Short. Rebounded by Prettyman. Intercept. The pass is intercepted by Farrell. Behind the back pass. He go back to Pharrell, who drives and he makes a layup. And that puts the Gales up 4-2. Concordia prep. He's gonna do something. There's a layup. Barapika, 
no good. Pharrell with the rebound. Pharrell passes it out to the corner. Wingfield for three. He's got it. And that puts the Gales up seven to two. Concordia Prep looking to drive. Drive. King for three. No, rebounded Pharrell. Pharrell, shoot to three. No, rebounded, Truett. He goes out to the corner, drives back in, and he gets hit in the face. So that would be an inbound foul. the Gales, they go to Pharrell. He shoots a layup, and that makes it nine to two. Pharrell, six of the first nine points for the Gales. Uh-oh, Concordia Prep driving. They're looking. Pass to the corner, shot off the bit, and it goes out of bounds. Let's see whose ball it is. They say it's Gale's ball. Alright. There's three by Pharrell, no. And Truett gets the rebound and he lays it up. 11 2 Gales. Concordia Prep scored a lay. Four out of one. And they call a timeout. With 4.37 left in the first quarter, your Gales lead it 11 to 2. Right. We go back, we resume back to play after Concordia Prep calls a timeout. The first play after a timeout is a layup by Okemka. That makes it 11 4. Gale still lead. They pass it to Truett in the corner. He shoots. No. Rebounded. Concordia Prep. Let's roll what? Gale's playing tight defense here. Under pressure. The ball is stolen. Wingfield with the steal. He's going to dribble it. He drives, and let's see what the call is. Looks like it'll be a foul, an offensive foul on Wingfield. So that will be Concordia prep ball. Looks to pass it. Roll it for three. No. Rebounded by Truett. Passes it to Wingfield. He's got Braithwaite. And he's got a fast break layup. 
put the Gales up 13 to 4. Gales sending in the press. Uh-oh. Oh. Pretty man, pretty man able to get by the tight defense of Ryan Truitt. And Truitt steals it. Truitt's going to go up for a layup, and he gets fouled and barely misses the layup. So he'll be shooting two. It's Prettyman who lost the ball. It's the one who ended up fouling Truitt. Sure, it hits first one. And that puts the Gales up 14 to 4. Sure, it hits the second one. Concordia Prep. Pass it to Penka. He drives up. Layup is no good. Rebounded. Tipped up in the air. Rebounded by Holmes. Ooh. It's the ball to Truitt. Here's Pharrell. He's going to drive. And there's a foul. I think. Yeah, foul on Concordia Prep. And I'll put Pharrell to a line. He'll be shooting two. Lamont Jackson with the foul for Concordia Prep. Pharrell hits the first one. Not for good for a good start. Ryan Truitt's gonna come out and take a break. Pharrell hits a second free throw. Coming in for Truett is 23, Joe Green, the junior. Gales up 17-4. There's a shot for three. No, rebounded, Joe Green, Green. Passes it. Braithwaite. Under pressure. He shoots a three off the rim. No good. Rebounded by Lucas. Who loses the ball to Pharrell. There's Braithwaite going in and he lays up. 19 4 Gales. And there's a pass. And that one is tipped. And it goes out of bounds. Gales ball. Out on Prettyman, who was trying to get it. And, and Brendan Holmes coming out. Eludi coming in for him. Pass to Pharrell. Shot. And that's good. 21 4. Gales lead. Oh, this pick. By Concordia Prep. Who just has not been able to score this quarter. There's a foul call. Let's see who's on. He's in the paint. It's on the Gales. Eludi with the foul. And Concordia Prep will get a throw in now after a foul. All right, 30 men. Looking to drive, he, he hits Jackson, who shoots it. Turn around, no. 
And that's going to be a, tr and Concordia Prep gets a rebound, but that's going to be a travel. So it'll be Gale's ball. Shoots it, no, tipped, no, and that ends the first quarter. Gale's up 21 to four on MSJ TV. Pass it in. They're up 21 4 here to start second quarter against Concordia Perk. It's a three. Brace Blit, no. Rebounded Pharrell, no. Aludi with the rebound. He loses the ball, but he gets fouled on the play. So he will be shooting two free throws. As Ken Lucas fouled him. The first free throw makes it. And Ludi makes the second one. 23 for Gales. King, back to Pretty Man. Passes King. And that's out of bounds, and that'll be Gale's ball. As Joe Green applied the pressure. Ranson, Ranson, Braithwaite to Anthony. Branson for three, no. Rebounded by Concordia Prep. Drive. There's a drive, and that goes out of bounds on the Gales. So it'll be. Concordia prep ball. Yale's lead at 23 to 4. 
pass. It's caught by King. King misses the layup. Rebounded by Anthony. Pass. There's a Ludi, and he gets fouled as he tries to make the layup. So he'll be shooting two free throws. Kristen Paul with the foul. Ludi made his first two free throws. Let's see what he does this time. First one hits the rim, but can't go in. Second one, and this one also misses. Concordia prep with the rebound. Pressure is on, and aggressive defense by Joe Green as he tips it out of bounds. So it'll be Concordia prep ball. She was guarding Presley Prettyman. going to be a foul on the Gales. B.J. Ranson with the foul. And Concordia Prep will inbound. They only scored four points all game. Pretty men for three. Bounces off the rim. Rebounded by Braithwaite. He passes to Aludi. Back to Braithwaite. Shoots a three. No. Rebounded. Anthony. And he's got his first points as a Gales. He makes a layup. Oh. Stormed by Aludi. To Braithwaite. Passes to Ransom. The pass. Anthony for three. Bounces in and out. No rebounded. Joe Green. Yes. So he makes the put back. And that make it 27-4 Gales. Twenty. Now they've got it. And there's a pass and it goes out of bounds. Looks like a bit of miscommunication there for Concordia Prep. It's had a rough night on offense, but only four points, and they all came the first quarter. They got the layup to start the game, then they got one after a timeout. They called in the first quarter. Yeah, it's been, it's been, it's been a great game for the Gales defense. Here's Joe Green, passes Anthony, and he makes the layup. Now make 31-4. Gales getting aggressive here. It's the ball. Oh, Concordia Prep able to get it. Three. And it is made by Opeka for Concordia Prep. That makes 29-7. I don't think they counted that Kenneth Anthony last points. Zaluti, he drives, and that'll be a jump ball in favor of Concordia Prep. And Joe Green, after a good outing, is gonna go take a rest. Gale sending in pressure. Concordia Prep. Dribble. Ball is lost. Truitt has it. Ryan Truitt going. He head fakes and he gets fouled. 
as he's going to be shooting two free throws. First free throw is made by Truett. Now make it 37. Gales. And the second one is in and out for the guns of going in. 31 7 Gales. Concordia Preps looking to do anything on offense. So what a day it's been. There's a layup by Opeka. It's good. 31-9. Concordia Prep starting to get the rhythm now. They scored five points on their last two possessions. Rents. Passes. Anthony. No. He's got it. Concordia Prep's got it. Uh-oh. Fast break. Oh, he slips. And it makes it. On Peck, huh? and that makes 31-11 as he's made three straight shots and seven straight points. Peck. Ludi. Grant. Passes. Holmes. Ludi. Who shoots it? No. Anthony with the rebound. And he's got a put back for two, making it 33-11. There's Okopekla, and he's made four straight shots for nine straight points for Concordia Prep. Only thing is, I still trail by 20. That's down 33 of 13. True it. And that's got to be a travel. Snow it. So that would be Concordia Prep ball. See if the Gales can hold off Concordia Prep here. That one. Bad. One guy doing most of the damage. Pass it. There's a shot. No. Rebounded by Aludi. Aludi passes through it. The pressure through it. Passes, throw in the corner, and that's a foul. On Concordia Prep, as their coach can't believe the call. Hear him saying, I heard him saying, what? When that call was made? It's Pharrell. Passes to Holmes, who dunks it! And that makes it 35-13. Concordia Prep, looking, stolen by Pharrell. He passes. It's too high for Wingfield, and it goes out of bounds. Opeka, who's done much of the damage, going in for a layup, and he is fouled by Holmes. Oh, can't believe fouled him. So Opeka, shoot two free throws. He's, he's done pretty much all the damage for Concordia Prep. His first free throw goes in. That makes 35-14.
Second free throw. Bounces in and out, goes in. And that makes it 35-15. About a minute left in the first half. Passes to Holmes and he makes the layup. 37-15. 40 of prep. Pretty man. Fake. So pick up. No. Rebounded by Norman. He passes it. Pharrell. True it. To Holmes. Misses the layup. Rebound. Misses the layup. Tip. Oh, goes right into the hands of Wingfield. Holmes makes a layup. And he was fouled, so he will get an and one opportunity. Gale's up 39-15. So we are just about to approach halftime. Shot makes it 40-15. Uh, Concordia Prep trying to shoot a buzzer beater and they hit it. This time it's Lamont Jackson with the buzzer beater. That only makes it 40-17. MSJ still up on MSJ TV. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up for you now, our own MSG, MSJ TV correspondent Austin Caulfield took to our admissions office to see what they have to offer here at Mount St. Joe. And we will take a look inside that in a second. We thank you for being here with us. Enjoy our interview with our own Austin Caulfield. Hi, my name's Joe Schubert. I'm a class of 2000 graduate from Mount St. Joe, and uh, I'm the director of marketing and communications here in the development office. So uh, the development office is underneath the cafeteria in Riken Hall, and um, my office specifically, the marketing and communications, is responsible for anything that you see that um, is related to Mount St. Joseph, so all the branding, all of the um, printed publications, the website, videos, social media, Instagram. I know you guys like to uh, like me to take your picture for, for the gram and um, all those things. So um, we like to attract new students using our marketing communications and also um, attract our and engage our alumni and donor base to be able to uh, raise money for the school, be able to have them come back to campus for their reunions and um, different fundraising events and other just events to get back to, um, to see their Mount brothers again. Hello, my name is uh, William Ballinger. Um, I graduated Mount St. Joe in 2017. Um, I currently work in the development office as a tower fund officer. Um, I work and am in charge of fundraising and donor relations at Mount St. Joseph. So in my position in the office, we coordinate different fundraising events throughout the year. Um, some examples are Gales Give Back, Phonathon, and many other various reunions and different events. Um, I also reach out to different alumni for alumni relations. Um, I do this by giving them updates on campus and how the school year is going. So far, I um, invite them back to campus for different tours to see their teachers 
and just see students around campus try to reminisce on their times here. And also we try to inform them of different um, school sponsored events that we would have in the area or um, on campus as well. My name is Emily Rollins and I am the Executive Director of Development here at Mount St. Joseph High School. And I oversee the department that handles a lot of different tasks, including uh, the advertising, marketing, public relations, event planning for alumni, as well as all the fundraising for the school uh, that comes from donors. Uh, we raise about $3.5 million every year in funds that directly impact the students. Uh, we host about 15 alumni reunions each year, plus many alumni events. And we produce things like the magazine and the alumni e-newsletter e and lots of publications for admissions and other materials for campus. I would say that the difference between uh, the general marketing position and uh, what I do is that we really focus on uh, the overall engagement of our alumni especially and, and our constituents that are connected to Mount St. Joseph High School. And whereas marketing department really is focusing on prospective families and trying to engage people to be connected to the school that don't know about Mount St. Joseph High School, whereas we are connecting in the office uh, at a different level with those that are already connected to Mount St. Joseph or who have already graduated from Mount St. Joseph. I have a couple favorite parts about uh, working here. Obviously, I went here, uh, so I love the school. I love working for something that, um, uh, an organization that I believe in. Um, I loved marketing and communications and branding, but I didn't want to just like do it to sell like pens or, or something like that. I wanted it to be something that I believed in and um, something that where I could kind of build, um, help build uh, a legacy. And um, so I love that part about working here. And I just love being able to be creative. Um, working with uh, cameras and video and um, something new every day here. And um, I like working with the students too. So um, I, I, it's more fun when we're, we're working with students and um, it's a little bit more of a laid back atmosphere than, than your typical uh, job where you're with adults all day. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite things about being a part of the development office and coming back to campus is um, I'm making a difference to the students that come here and making sure they have a memorable experience like I did when I came here um, in 2017. My favorite part about working at Mount St. Joseph High School is the sense of community and family that everyone has for one another. It, I have uh, an excitement to come to work every day because I really enjoy the people that I get to be engaged with all the time. The graduates are wonderfully connected to the school and have a, a great legacy here, and they're very committed to their institution. It's, it's wonderful to get to know them and see how they continue to grow over their life.
And as we come back here to the Smith Center for the end of halftime, make sure to follow MSJ TV on Instagram at Instagale News and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see all future content, including our homeroom show, Tower Reviews, the rest of the basketball games that will take place here in the MSJ Smith Center the rest of the season and more exclusive content like that interview you saw pregame with Coach Clatchy and Alex Quas. We thank Coach Clatchy for taking the time to sit down with Quas as he asked him some good questions. If you want to go back to our YouTube channel to check out the full interview, make sure to do that. And now, without further ado, Buck Rogers. All right. Back here, first half, MSA 40 and Concordia Prep 17. So we'll start the second half and MSJ will get the ball. Kristen Opankapa, nine consecutive points in the first half. So that was all that Concordia Prep could get. And here's a three by Wingfield, making it 43-17. Gail sending in pressure. Concordia Prep trying to escape. They're able to. They pass. They drive. Layup's no good. Rebound. Braithwaite. Wingfield. May three earlier, no. Rebounded by Opekpa, who had nine in a row for Concordia Prep. He only had 17 total, so yeah, he's been a star. Play. It's pretty man. Three pointer, no. Rebounded by Pharrell. Pharrell. Dribble. Pharrell. Wingfield. Truett. And he gets fouled. So, Gales will inbound it. Fouled on Damon Roulette. Holmes gets it. Break away for three, and he swishes it. 46. 17. Looks like score. It's rebounded by Brady White. Three pointer. And Brady White hits another one. Make it 49. 17. Timeout. Concordia Prep. Second of the game. Okay, so California Prep calls timeout. 6.08 left. Gale's up 49 17. See him bound. So Damon Roulette. Roulette. Dribbles. Pass to King. King. He gets a storm by Braithwaite. 
Braithwaite to Wingfield and the pass is too high. Out of bounds. And someone on, looks like Lamont Jackson touched it for Concordia Prep. So the Gales get a chance. Pharrell makes a shot and he gets fouled. So he'll get an end one opportunity. Pharrell makes a free throw. That's three point play for the Gales. Lead 52 17. Safe had pretty good night. Shots blocked by Holmes. Would have been a shot clock violation anyways. Oh, and this stolen. That is Braithwaite, lost it. Concordia Prep goes to the layup. They miss it, Pharrell rebound. Braithwaite all alone, and he's gonna shoot a layup. Making it 54-17. He dunked that one. Three pointer, no. Rebounded, Pharrell. Pharrell dribbles, Pharrell. Looking to drive and he makes a shot. And he'll get an and one opportunity. He makes the end one, and the Gales get another three-point play. What's going on now? All right, looks like it'll be a Concordia prep inbounds. There's a bit of confusion. 57-17, Gales lead it. This one's stolen by Truitt but he couldn't quite handle it as it goes out of bounds. Oh, there's a drive. No, rebounded. Yes. Yeah, a prep two-pointer. 34. Oh, nice pass to it. Back to Wingfield, who drives. Layup, no. Rebound. And Concordia Prep gets it. Foul on the Gales. It's Braithwaite. Foul as he reached in, trying to get steal his first of the game. Three-pointer, and Roulette makes it, 57-22, Pharrell, and he gets fouled as he's trying to drive in for the layup. So he will shoot, no, it will be an inbound. Fouls on Roulette, who just made the three-pointer for Concordia Prep. Go. What do you 
There's a three-pointer. No. Rebounded by Concordia Prep. Gale send the pressure. It's tipped by Joe Green. And Wingfield gets it and he makes a shot. 59, 22. Gales lead it. This pass is tipped. Braithwaite. Passes for all. And he dunks it. And that makes it 61 22. Gales. Blocked. Holmes with the block. Passes to Green. Pharrell. No. Concordia Prep gets a rebound. Going on a fast break. And a foul by Joe Green. I thought it was a clean block. But they call a foul. And Okpekpa will be shooting two free throws for Concordia Prep. He hits the first one. Make it 61-23. He hits the second one. 61-24 Gales. First foul by Joe Green. Pass. Renson. Bro. Break white. Three pointer. He's got it. That makes 64 24. Good shot. No. Rebounded by Breakwood. It's under pressure. He gets by the defense. Fast to Green, back to Breakwood. To a corner, Ranson, three. In and out, and it goes in. Scales take 6 7 24 lead. Pass, shot, and that's a foul on Anthony, as he knocked down a member of Concordia Prep. So, he was shooting two free throws. First one makes it. Second one also makes it, and that makes it 67 26. Ranton, pass to Barrett. There's Green driving up, no. Concordia Prep gets the ball. They go to Prettyman. He passes in the corner. And a shot is made for three by Roll It. And what we got here now? Timeout. Apparently. For Con Thank you. 
Timeout was called by Concordia Prep after they made the shot, so it'll be Gale's ball. A pass. Joe Green. Green under pressure. Passes to Barrett. And that's a travel. So it'll be Concordia Prep ball. Concordia Prep takes a quick shot. Pretty man. Three pointer. He's got a buzzer beater. But the Gales still lead it 67 to 32 as we head to a fourth quarter on MSJ TV. Go to the fourth quarter, it will be Concordia Prep's ball. Gale 67, Concordia Prep 32. Eight minutes left in the game. Pass. Drive blocked by Aludi, and the ball went out of bounds. So Concordia Prep will inbound. It. Pass. Opeka, and he hits a three. Makes it 6 7 35. Joe Green, and he loses the ball. And now it goes out of bounds on Presley Prettyman. So that would be Gale's ball. Okay. He won an explanation. Let's pass Ransom. 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 Shoots it. No. Anthony with the rebound. No. Rebounded by Green. He shoots and he gets fouled. So it'll be going to the line. Two free throws. That's Joe Green. Who got fouled. to Gales. His first shot puts from him and goes in. His second shot bounces off the rim and it's unable to go in. His shot Pretty men, no, rebounded, Joe Green. Green, lost it, but then gets back. Green, driving, and he's got a layup. And that puts the Gales up 70-35. Say so now double Concordia Park has. Ball stolen, Ransom, Ransom drives. And he makes a shot! First of the season. And that gets the Gales fans and their bench going. I'll make it 72. 
35. Three pointer, it's good, Opekpa. There's Ludi, he's got two. I'll make 72 38. I'll be honest, how could they? They only did not count the BJ Ransom shot. On the scoreboard. Pass. Pretty men, no. Joe Green with the rebound. Joe Green. Green. Passes. Ludi blocked. Gets his own rebound and puts it up for two. And that makes it 74 38. Drive quickly, and he's got a two. Make it 74 40. It's Anthony, it's pass. Scott Cordia Preps gets his unclean and. Looks like, see what the call is here. They say it's a double dribble on Concordia Prep. So, it'll be Gail's ball. There's a shot. It goes out and bounces in. Barrett with the jumper. And that makes it 76 40. Gales lead it. Pass stolen and oh. It goes out of bounds. Needman knocks it out of bounds. 406 left in the game. Gale 76. Concordia prep 40. They're starting to get their offense going, but it's too little, too late for them. Traveling on Concordia prep, and it will be Gale's ball. Rudy loses it and gets it back. Shoots, no. Rebounded. Concordia prep. That looks like it's going to be a foul on Barrett of the Gales. So Concordia prep will inbound from around half court. 3.45 left in the game. Gale 78, Concordia Prep 40. Pass, intercepted, Igneem. He passes it, Aludi shoots, no, gets his own rebound, and shoots, and he makes the shot, and gets fouled. So, it'll be a three, so it'll be an and one for the Gales.
number 20 on the Gales. Last name is Ajim. Just for reference, the all. There's a three pointer. No. Rebounded by Norm. Passes it. And the pass is tipped. It, who touched it last? We'll see. And Obi Gale's ball. Up 81 41. They go to Barrett. Barrett to Anthony. Anthony to Norman. No. Rebounded. Concordia Pratt. And that's going to be a double dribble. So it'll be Gale's ball. Throw up 8141. Yeah. Pass. Ajiman for three. No. Rebounded, Concordia Prep. And looks like I'll be a foul on the Gales. Foul. This ball goes out of bounds. We don't have to, we don't have to tell the people. We're just There's Michael K tuned too. First one, misses. Second one, also misses. Rebounded by Barrett. They pass. Shot and, uh, and it's out of bounds on Concordia Prep as Norman took the shot. Doggy man to pass it in. He passes and Barrett makes the layup and that makes it 83 41. Pass tip goes right into the hands of Anthony. Pass. The three pointer in and out. No. Rebounded. And that's a foul. As Barrett was fouled. Thompson had a three point attempt, but he couldn't make it. Looks like it'll be. I think a one and one for Gales. Dirt. Couldn't make it. Second shot and Barrett switches this one and makes it 84-41 Gales. Less than two minutes left in the game. Shot and rebounded by Barrett. As Barrett shoots, no. Rebounded Davis of Concordia Prep. Pass. Shot. No. Rebounded. Anthony. She passes Thompson. Thompson. Norman. And Neem. Pass it. And Anthony makes the layup. And that makes it 86 41. Gales. 
It's a young team. It's got some points. And the pass is, oh, out. Anthony tipped it out. Shot clocking low, it's stolen by Barrett. Brayton Barrett's gonna Brayton Barrett's gonna go and he makes a layup. That makes it 88 to 41. And what is the call? Foul on the Gales. Noah Jackson will be shooting two free throws. Seth Foul was on Barrett. It's been pretty good this game. First free throw goes in. Second one, it misses. Rebounded by the Gales. It's Anthony who got the rebound. Gales are just gonna pass it around. So they can just let the clock run out. And they will improve to 2-0. With an 88, 42 win over Concordia Prep. So we are officially over. Thank you for watching this game on MSJ TV. We thank you for joining us today here on MSJ TV. Make sure to subscribe for all future games including the one Wednesday at 6 o'clock. 5.15, says our producer. We thank you for watching here on MSJ TV. Make sure to subscribe for future content. Thanks to Buck Rogers and the production crew today, and we will see you all on Wednesday here at the Smith Center. Thank you for watching.